Greetings, my fellow seniors and everyone tuning in. I've got some fantastic news to share with you all today, especially if you're receiving Social Security benefits, including SSI, SSDI, or VIA benefits. Mark your calendars for because new, bigger Social Security checks are on their way, and we're here to give you all the details you need. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and fourth stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSI, SSDI, and VA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. In this video, we'll dive deep into who gets these new checks and the eligibility criteria so you know exactly what to expect. We'll also break down the amounts you can anticipate seeing in these new payments, covering SSI, SSDI, and VIA benefits separately. Timing is crucial when it comes to these checks, so we'll provide you with the exact details on when they'll arrive, ensuring you're ready to receive them. Additionally, we'll walk you through the steps you need to take to qualify for these new checks and highlight any extra benefits or programs that might come along with these payments. Our goal is to explain everything in simple, easy to understand terms, making sure you don't miss out on any important information. If you're a senior receiving SSI, SSDI, or VIA benefits, this video is tailored specifically for you. Now, let's get straight to the heart of the matter. We're talking about a massive 8.7% raise in Social Security and SSI payments compared to 2022 levels. For the average retired worker, this could translate to over $180 more being deposited into their account each month. And for millions of seniors and disabled Americans who have been struggling with rising prices on everything from groceries to gas to housing, this financial boost couldn't come at a better time. Ever since the eye-popping 8.7% cost of living adjustment was announced last fall, recipients have been excitedly awaiting these bigger monthly checks to help ease the burden of sky-high inflation. But with just a couple of weeks to go until the new payments start arriving, many are still in the dark on key details like exactly how much extra they'll be receiving, when the money will hit their accounts, and what the annual income boost means for their overall financial situation. So, let's start by breaking down that massive 8.7% cost of living adjustment, which is the highest increase Social Security and SSI recipients have seen since 1981 when payments were boosted by a whopping 11.2%. The adjustment percentage is determined each year based on the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, or CPIW which measures the average change in prices paid for goods and services by urban workers. Due to stubbornly high inflation over the past 12 months, the CPIW grew by 8.7% between the third quarter of 2021 and the third quarter of 2022, according to the latest data released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The Social Security Act contains a provision for an automatic cost of living adjustment, or COLA, to help benefits keep pace with rising costs driven by inflation. This 8. 7% COLA increase represents an attempt by the Social Security Administration to raise payments enough to maintain the same level of purchasing power that beneficiaries had in 2022 before inflation took off over the past year. To give you a clearer picture of what this means in dollars and cents, let's look at some examples. For the average retired worker receiving $1,681 per month in 2022, their new monthly benefit in 2023 will be $1,827, plus an extra $146. For a couple where both individuals are collecting average benefits, their new combined monthly payment will be $3,138, plus an additional $251. For the average disabled worker receiving $1,362 per month last year, their new monthly payment will be $1,480, plus an extra $118. In terms of annual income boosts, the average retired worker will see an increase of $1,692, bringing their total yearly income to $21,924. The average disabled worker will receive an additional $1,428, totaling $17,760 annually. As these examples illustrate, 
This 8.7% cost of living adjustment equates to a major pay raise and income boost for millions of seniors and disabled Americans across the country. For many recipients living on fixed incomes, that extra money each month could make a huge difference in affording basic necessities like housing, food, and utilities, which have become exceedingly more expensive. It's also important to note that this COLA increase applies across the board to all Social Security payments, including retirement benefits, disability benefits, survivor benefit, purity income, SSI, and even Veterans Affairs benefits. So, the higher payment amounts will reach Americans collecting Social Security in all types of different scenarios and financial situations. Of course, one of the biggest questions surrounding these bigger costs of living adjusted checks is when exactly will my payment arrive and how much more will I be receiving? According to the latest details from the Social Security Administration, the new rounds of payments with the 8.7% COLA increase will begin on May 25 and run through early June. Social Security and SSI recipients will see their first fatter monthly check during this upcoming payment cycle. For Social Security retirement benefits specifically, the payment schedule looks like this. If your birthday falls between the 1st and 10 of the month, your increased payment will be deposited on May 25. If your birthday falls between the and 20, your new check will arrive on June 1 Saint. And if your birthday falls between the 21 and 31, expect your bigger payment on June 8. Meanwhile, for SSI recipients and those collecting Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, the new payments with the 8.7% COLA increase should all arrive on May 25, regardless of birthday or other factors. It's recommended that all recipients have access to their online Social Security accounts and payment information in order to verify they've received the full cost of living adjustment amount on their upcoming check. Any payment issues or shortfalls can then be reported directly to the Social Security Administration. For recipients receiving payments via direct express debit cards, accounts should be credited on the normal monthly schedule. However, those still receiving physical checks sent by mail may experience a short delay of a few extra days as the COLA increase gets processed appropriately. Assuming there are no hiccups in the payment processing systems, this first wave of increased cost of living adjusted checks should be fully distributed to all Social Security recipients across the country by early June at the latest. Of course, while bigger monthly checks are exciting, it's also important to understand how the 8.7% cost of living adjustment affects your total Social Security income for the full year. After all, that's what really matters most for budgeting and understanding your overall financial situation. Based on the COLA, the maximum possible Social Security benefit for a worker retiring at full retirement age in 2023 is $3,627 per month, or $43,524 annually, up $315 per month and $3,780 annually from 2022. For a couple where one worker maxed out their benefit at full retirement age, their potential combined income in 2023 is $87,048 annually, up $756 from last year. The maximum federal SSI payment is increasing by $73 per month, from $841 to $914 for an individual in 2023. For couples, the new maximum is $1,371, up $119 monthly. In terms of income thresholds, the maximum amount of earnings subject to Social Security tax jumped from $147,000 in 2022 to $160,200 in 2023. So, in essence, the 8.7% COLA equates to somewhere between $1,400 and $7,500 in additional annual income for 2023 for most Social Security and SI beneficiaries. While not insignificant amounts by any means for those living on fixed incomes, the higher income levels should help offset rising costs on things like housing, food, energy, and healthcare that have strained many household budgets over the past year. There are already growing calls from some advocacy groups for additional cost of living adjustments later in 2023 if inflation remains persistently high in the months ahead. 
The Senior Citizens League, a nonpartisan group representing millions of seniors, is pushing for a supplemental 3.5% COLA increase this fall to make up for inflation, potentially outpacing the 8.7% adjustment by year's end. While the 8.7% COLA is certainly welcomed relief, it's clear that for many seniors and disabled Americans, it may not be enough to fully offset the rapid rise in living costs over the past year. Grocery prices have skyrocketed with items like eggs, milk, and meat seeing double-digit increases. Energy costs for heating and electricity have also soared, putting a strain on fixed budgets. And let's not forget about housing costs, rent, mortgages, and property taxes have all climbed significantly in many parts of the country. For those living solely on Social Security or disability benefits, these higher expenses can quickly eat up a large portion of their monthly income, leaving little room for other necessities like healthcare, transportation, and even leisure activities. It's a harsh reality that many of our nation's most vulnerable citizens are facing daily. That's why groups like the Senior Citizens League are so adamant about pushing for additional financial support. Their argument is that the 8.7% COLA, while a step in the right direction, may not fully account for the compounding effect of inflation on seniors' budgets over time. A supplemental increase later in the year could help bridge that gap and ensure that benefits truly keep pace with the rising cost of living. If you find this video valuable, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an updates all things related stimulus.